hey you guys welcome back to the channel so today i am going to be doing my budget breakdown for paycheck number three for april and uh we're gonna go ahead and cash stuff some of our sinking funds so let's go ahead and get into it um this will be like a really quick video and i just want to continue to stay uh stay with my budget so I'm just going to go ahead and get this done. I already started with it. I already wrote it down, basically. Um, didn't want to keep you guys too long, but I already did the budget. Uh, before we get in the budget, because I'm going fast, sorry, you guys. Um, thank you for clicking on the video. If you're new here, my name's Jackie. I'm budgeting um, for my fa with my family. We are a family of four. We do have some debt, so we're going to try to get out of debt. And we're just trying to live our best lives debt-free. Uh, thank you to the people who is coming back. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming back. So, let's go ahead and get into the budget. So, once tied and all that good stuff is paid, we were left with $1,252.95. Our expenses for this paycheck came up to $984.25, which left us with $268.70. When it comes to our cash envelopes, we leave it on our debit card now. So I saved $50 for food and $40 for gas. Um, we really don't need food in the house. This is just for like little recipes if we need or if we want to eat out at work. That's what that's for. Uh, I didn't set no money aside for me for gas because I filled up uh, a couple of days ago. And I usually only have to fill up... Um, bi-weekly so i didn't i didn't set aside money for me i can make it to next payday so that left us with 178.70 uh and these are our sinking uh, funds and yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this done now i didn't take 178 out i only took 175 out uh you know can't get three dollars can't get dollars out of the atm so three dollars is still in the bank all right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So we have 50, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90 dollars, 110, 130. I hope I'm doing this right. So that's 130, 130, 140, 150, 160, 165, 170, 175. All right, I counted it right. So we're just going to be stuffing $175. All right, I went through my uh, sinking fund binder and I did take um, some envelopes out. Uh, I don't know which ones I took out. Can't remember right now, but I did take some out. Uh, I'm still trying to make sure I keep it simple over here. And I think I had one that I didn't need, and I think it was miscellaneous, so I took that out. And I also took out back to school. I thought it would just be make more sense to keep back to school with kids, whatever. Anything that has anything to do with my kids, if they need school supply, anything, daycare, anything, come out the kids' envelope. So I'm just trying to make sure I keep it simple over here. All right. So let's go ahead and get it started. So emergency fund, I'm going to go ahead and put $50 in there. And so that brought us up to $150. The goal this month is to put $300 in here for the emergency fund. So we are halfway there. All right. Household is basically our uh, house down payment. <clears throat> and so we're going to go ahead and do $20. And that's going to bring us up to $70. Um, a little goes a long way. We are nowhere near ready to buy a home. But if we start with just little here, little there, we should be ready in a couple of years once we're debt free. All right. Ari is going to get $5. And that's going to bring him up to $15. Now these... Um, envelopes Ari and Alana is just for like saving for their future. All right, Alana, she's going to get five also, and let's bring her up to 15 too. All right, kids is going to get fifteen dollars. Okay. 
So kids have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. All right, car maintenance is going to get $20. And that's going to bring us up to $70. All right, health and beauty, medical, that's going to get $10. And that's going to bring us up to $30. All right, vacation. Put that in there, right? Vacation, go get $20. And that's going to bring us up to $60. Um, now, holidays is going to get $20. Now, this envelope, I am really thinking about taking it out. And the only reason why I want to take it out is because we usually don't do holidays like that. Like, we celebrate, um, you know, Resurrection Sunday, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. Mother's Day is coming up and Father's Day is coming up. But we usually cash flow that. Like I put it in a budget for that month. So I honestly want to get rid of this. I don't know if I want to call it something else. But I feel like I want to get rid of that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just keep $40 in there. And if I do get rid of it, most likely I put the $40 in vacation. I'm just not sure if I'm going to do that just yet. All right, and so debt is going to get $10. So debt has 20, 40, 50, 55, 60 in debt. Our goal is to pay the Samsung credit card off. Um, and that we owe 900 and something dollars on, I think. Yeah. So this was paycheck number three for April. I know it's a little fast. But I do want to stay committed to my budget. I also want to share my budget because when I share my budget online, it keeps me motivated and it keeps me accountable. So I am trying to do it. So this was a little uh, small cash stuffing, but if I would have kept this 178 in the bank, we would have went through it. We would have did something with it. So I just had to make sure I got this done. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you for paycheck number four of April. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.